It is time, the biggest match of the Neo Eagles League, Germany vs France, Noel Noah vs Julian Loki, and of course the insanity of Izagi and Kaiser vs Rin and Shido. It is about to begin. A match that has the chance of being the best in all of Blue Lock so far. Loki has already revealed that PXG will be using the same strategy as Bastard, having both A strikers on the field at the same time to counter the irregularity and abnormality that represents Isagi and Kaiser's battle within their own team to have control. With this being the match where Isagi can truly be recognised as the number one in Blue Lock, He's risen to the top 5 best without a doubt during this arc, currently sitting at number 2 alongside Baro when it comes to offerings, only leaving Rin at 48 million higher, or perhaps it is time for Kaiser to demonstrate his domination and superior ability for Hisagi to surpass in the future of the story or building up for in the future, highlighting how he's far above all the strikers in blue lock and how he shouldn't be regarded on this level. Or maybe it's time for both Isagi and Kaiser to lose. Rin and Shido claiming victory and rising even more in the story to reveal that they're simply better strikers than our protagonist, regardless of his metavision developments and everything he's gained throughout this arc. Or perhaps there is another key reason for Isagi's defeat, that being the newly introduced Charles of PXG who might be the biggest prodigy we've ever seen in Blue Lock. At 15 years old, he's been recognised by the fellow prodigy and master, coach etc, Loki, who claimed the following. The reason I joined this league to begin with was purely to foster your abilities. I need a passer to help me become the world's best. You have the talent to be that passer. Meaning Loki believes Charles has the ability to be the one that helps him surpass Noel Noah, the greatest in the world. Pretty wild stuff and he's passing to the likes of Rin and Shido throughout this chapter. And probably to Loki as well when he goes out on the field. The battle between Loki and Noah is going to be pretty insane as it seems like Loki character wise wants to surpass Noah with both of them being French so it's going to be a pretty interesting battle between the two. And let's not forget the age of Loki as well, which may play a major factor in him being, I guess, inferior to Noah, but we'll have to wait and see when they clash during this match. So the goals we're going to get throughout this match are going to be, in short, next level, with Loki saying this to conclude the most recent chapter. Rin and Shido create a never-before-seen chemical reaction, and I definitely believe we're going to get something like this throughout this match. We also need to consider the feedback Loki had given to both strikers in this chapter as well. For Rin, he has a good ratio but needs to pretty much increase the amount of shots. While when it comes to Shido, he's pretty much taking too many shots, needs to practice on his precision more than anything else. And I think we're probably going to see that, which is a little unfortunate. I do enjoy Shido just going for the most wild stuff, one of the most appealing things about his character. But seeing Rin go for more is definitely going to be cool. When it comes to other characters that are going to shine, it seems like these two part of Bastard are going to do something. They seem to be training alone with Noah in the background here. Of course, we've known this guy since the start of Blue Lock, and he hasn't really done much throughout the entire series. Perhaps it is time for him to do something pretty wild. And this guy, as we know, recently got cucked in the previous match was about to go out by the command of Noah, however other stuff occurred that prevented that, meaning it's time for him to do some pretty wild stuff. And of course, this all relates to everyone wanting to break into the top 23 to be invited to the Japan's under 20 team. With characters like Rachi barely making it into the top 23 and need to do something fairly impressive to probably stay in the top 23 during this match. Likewise with this guy as well who's outside of it, Will he make it? I'm not quite sure, let me know what you think down below. Now apart from everything else I talked about for the match, there's another pretty much clash of characters that needs to be discussed that's about to occur. The rematch between Kunigami and Shido. As you know, Shido eliminated Kunigami from the original Blue Lock, was the key character in why we have the new Kunigami in the story. And if I'm being honest, Kunigami hasn't really been all that so far in the league. Yes, he's had a few cool moments, 
but I expected a little bit more if I'm being honest. I think a lot of people can actually agree with that. I think this match will be his time to shine as well and demonstrate how much he's improved and perhaps get his revenge. We'll have to wait and see, but I am beyond excited for this as well. Another reason for why this match will potentially be the greatest we've ever had. We even see other characters like Nagi and Ryo who are continuing to pretty much fall off in the series and need to rise or they're going to actually be removed, which I don't think will happen, but right now they're just in quite the slump. The power of one's ego is not currently aligned with Nagi whatsoever. Perhaps if he's actually watching this match, he will gain that back, but I don't exactly know whether that's happening. Perhaps his match is at the same time, who knows. But one character I definitely believe is going to shine the most during this fight is going to be Kaiser. Throughout this entire arc, he's kind of been shit on by Asagi. Of course, he has these pretty wild moments that has pretty much everyone stunned, Isagi included, even Noah at times. However, when it comes to how much he's actually worth compared to these guys, he should be on a completely different league and really needs to demonstrate this in the next match. And I think he will considering his rage and how pretty much his only goal at this point is to do with Isagi and him being pretty much outright superior. So definitely the guy that's going to win the game for Bastards who I believe is going to win this entire match. But who really knows how it's going to go, I am beyond excited, that's for sure. However, the continued downfall of Ness is something I definitely want to continue in this match. Hopefully he hits rock bottom and he stays down there, never to return. Kaiser realises that Ness is worthless and this moves far beyond. Perhaps that is another way Kaiser will get a dub. We also have other possible matchups and various exchanges and of course characters being explored. Perhaps PXG also has another character we know nothing about that will play a major role in them perhaps winning, who knows. If you enjoy Blue Lock content, that's what this channel is going to be for now. Every time a chapter comes out, a video from me and much more, so subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Now to go over a quick prediction for the next chapter. It's most likely going to consist of Noel Noah going over his team's strategy. We already got inside to what Loki's playing that I talked about throughout today's video. Noah now needs to go over that, which could change what is already pre-established when it comes to predictions of how this match will play out. We'll have to wait and see, he could be up to something pretty wild and I am excited. I don't think the match itself is going to start in the next chapter, but still we are in peak blue lock times. And for my final goal predictions, one to Rin, one to Shido, one to Isagi and two to Kaiser.